That gauge hasn't moved yet, has it? No. Not a millimeter. I haven't seen it move either. Why in the hell don't they come? Why don't they hit us? Oh, shut up. I mean, don't you wish they'd come? Well, don't you? Anybody want to play gin? Do you think they'll come soon? One thing is certain. Everything ever said new, the enemy certainly knows. That means they know where Earth is and how defenseless we are or rather were to their form of attack. As we know, those big shot scientists have developed something called the Addison Detector, sort of a cross between radar and the electroencephalograph. As we sit here, tens of thousands of men and women sit crouched in ships, watching the gauges on their Addison Detectors. Watching the unwavering gauges. Hey, I was listening to that. You're the only one. Just one thing I'd like to know. How far can they do it? Well, the detector grid only covers the system out past Mars orbit. Where we sit, waiting for them to come. They might not even know we have a detection unit working. Stop. They're telepathic. They must have read every bit of stuff on Everset's mind. Everset didn't know we had a detection unit. It was captured before we had it. Look, they ask him, boy, what would you do if you knew a telepathic race was coming to take over Earth? How would you guard the planet? Idle speculation. Maybe Everset didn't think of this. He thinks like a man, doesn't he? Everyone agreed on the Addison detectors. Everset would have too. Syllogistic. Very shaky. Besides, how do you even know when a man's mind has been possessed? That's kind of the whole point of the Edison detectors. Yeah. Any alteration in the typical human brainwave pattern would boost the indicator. Even a bad dream or a case of indigestion would jar it. That's what they're supposed to do. But who knows if they even work? <sighs> I sure wish Everset hadn't been captured. It could have been worse. What if they captured both of them? I think I'll sack in. Stick around. Play some gin. All right. Wish they'd come. Cut. I wonder what our friends look like. Probably remarkably like us. They should have given us another man. Then we could have played bridge. I don't play bridge. You could learn. Why didn't we send a task force? Why didn't we at least try to get Everset back? Don't be dumb. We'd lose any ship we sent. Probably get them back at us, possessed and firing. Knock with nine. 
I don't give a damn if you knock with a thousand. How much do I owe you? Three million, five hundred and eight thousand and ten dollars. Want me to write a check? Take your time. I'm in no rush. I want them to come. Someone needs to go reason with those bastards. say a flip of a coin and decided it. Everset went down, Jones stayed up, but what if there's more to it? You Cut it off, will you? Speculation to... How can you listen to that? It's better than sitting here, quietly waiting for the inevitable unknown. No, it's not. It's trash. I'm talking about them both like there's some kind of grand conspiracy. I knew Everset. I knew Jones. It's a damn hard call to leave a man behind. Mind or no mind, ever said would have understood that. Do you think I should fire off a couple bursts just to limber up the guns? The guns don't need limbering. Besides, you'd probably throw the whole fleet into a panic. Can it? And what's the alarm, will you? What if the alarm doesn't work? What if the whole machine is broken? The machine will work. It has to. But it feels horrible to have your mind grabbed. I bet it's awful. You'll know it when it happens. Is it ever said? Probably. He just couldn't do anything about it. Well, my mind feels fine. But the first one of you two that starts acting queer? Watch out. <laughs> I'd sure like a chance to go reason with them. This is stupid. Why not? You mean go out and meet with them? Sure. We're doing no good sitting here. I should think we could do something. After all, they're not invincible. They're reasoning beings. Sounds fair. Should we contact Command? Tell them what we're doing? No. Red tape. We'll just go out and see what happens. If they don't talk, We'll blast them out of space. <laughs> Look. It's another ship from our sector. They must have had the same idea. Let's get there first. That gauge hasn't moved yet, has it? Not a move out of it. No. Not a millimeter. My question to you now is how do you dodge a wavelength? I mean, what do you do? pull over? No. Do you park under a bridge? No. Do you hide under your bed? I don't think so. I... I mean, I used to feel safe in my home, in my bed, in my country, in this earth that we live on now. I don't feel that anymore. Everything's changed. And I just don't feel good about it. 